Hello there, welcome to a Math Fun Friday. We are gonna start our lesson today with a piece of a hundreds chart. We all know how this puzzle works. And then here, we are going to look at unit form, draw, and change it to standard form. That's the first time we've seen this, the unit form. And then here, we are gonna subtract a hundred. Remember, we are in week eight. Let's get started. So here I have 548. We should remember from that compass that I could either go down and add 10, or I could go to the left and subtract one. So if I went down this way, I would end up with 558. I went down and I just changed my tens place. If I'm going back, I'm changing only the ones place, so I would have 547. I think I might need a marker that's a little darker. It was a pretty color, but it's not so dark. So here I have 500. 58, change the tens, and here I have 547. If I keep going back, still changing only that ones place, 546. Now I'm gonna start going down, so I'm adding 10 again, only the tens place. 556 and 566. The cool thing about this is this piece is not a piece we're looking for, but if we went across, you would see this is 556, 557, 558. So that's how you know your piece of the hundreds chart is actually correct. If you could still, if you could find more pieces, like you put imaginary dots and you would find more pieces, you know that the pieces you have are correct. So let's keep going here. I have a T, kind of a cross here. 552, if I'm going over this way, it's just, this is actually shaped like our compass. If I go over this way, I would end up with 753 and then 754. Just my ones place changing. But if I go this way, I'm changing my tens place. So here, 743, subtracting 10. This way, 763, adding 10, just like my compass. Now down here, I wrote this high. I thought it was dark enough, the marker, I mean the pen I had. It ended up not working out. But down here, we're gonna use unit form to standard form. So this says I have two tens and four ones. So it's easy to just draw what it's saying. So it's saying draw two tens and four ones. Well, what is that number? Two tens and four ones is just 24. Now here, it says I have 10 tens. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Those are ten tens and four tens. One, two, three, four. So here I have no ones, I have no hundreds. I just have a bunch of tens. Ten tens and four tens. Well, let's count those. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So ten tens is 100, and then I have 110, 
120, 130, 140. So my number in standard form is 140. So here I just saw, this is really big, for third grade, fourth grade going on, that 10 tens is 100. So now I'm going to write in unit form what's happening in this picture. So how many tens do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Again, here I have ten tens, which we know is going to equal a hundred. How many ones do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. I have twenty-two ones. That's a lot of ones. I wonder if some of these ones will become a 10. So we know this is 100. So we can actually just put that this group here is 100. I'll just put it right below it. Here, how many ones do I have just in this group? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I have 10 ones, which just equals 10. Here I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, another group of 10 ones. And then here I just have 1, 2 ones. So here I have 120 and 2. Excellent work. We put that in unit form. We broke it down into groups so we could see how much we had all together. Now down here, I'm subtracting a hundred. So I'm just gonna focus on that hundreds, please. So 412 minus a hundred would be 312. 427 minus 100 would be 627. I mean, sorry, 624. That was 724 minus 100. 852 minus 100 would be 752. 684 minus 100 584. 746 minus 100, 646. And lastly, 512 would be 412. Very mental. You can mentally do this by just taking away from the hundreds place each time. Excellent work. This was a Math Fun Friday. I really hope you have a wonderful weekend no matter what you do. School will be starting soon and I hope you continue to have a great break. See you Monday. Hi my budding geniuses. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you have your book so you can follow along. Practice on your own for 15 minutes and then log in to review the lesson. Remember, there's a purpose for your life. If you stay focused, you can say, oh, yay me. I understand. See you tomorrow. Bye now.